Hi, and in this video I'm going to be running through using an iPhone, both controlling and listening to music on the TX and R626. So the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that the TX and R626 is connected to your network. And this will be done via wireless or hardwired, and we're actually going to be doing this wireless. Now I've set my 626 up to be running wirelessly and I'm just running through to make sure the DHCP is set up correctly and it's getting all the address. Now one vital important thing to remember is you need to make sure that the network standby is turned on. If you don't do this then when you turn the receiver off you'll lose complete control and then once you've done that you just come out of all the hardware setup. And now we're actually ready to start using the Onkyo app for the iPhone. The app is also available for Android users, so we've got both camps completely covered as far as the app's concerned. So once you've downloaded and installed the app, you can fire it up, which is what I'm going to do now. And as you'll notice, the 626 is actually in standby mode, and the app will represent that by the power light not being lit up in the main power section at the top then all you need to do is actually just press the power button. But please be aware, if you don't have that network standby turned on in the main setup, this is not going to happen. Now all of the control functions are actually mimicked on the actual screen of the physical 626 and actually on the iPhone itself. Now here we've got the input selector. Everything is laid out, so it's just a simple case of selecting which input you want and pressing it and it will take you straight there. And as you can see in the background, the, the 626 has now switched over to the FM tuner. Now the rest of the layout of the app mimics the actual remote control that you get with the unit. Here we've got the nav button up, down, left and right. And we've got the return, home and set up. And if we go across all the way to the right, we've actually got some temporary levels so you can change bass, treble, center and sub. Now with the jog dial, it's a swiping action for up, down, left and right. And then to actually enter, you tap the whole button. Now if you actually press the main bar, not the actual power button on the main, it will give you a drop down list to give you a choice between main zone and zone two. Now we've switched over to zone two, which is actually off at the moment. We've turned it on and it's outputting the source signal. So that would be whatever you're playing in the main zone. But you do actually have the option to select an independent source. So this means you could be sitting out in the garden, and if you've got rock speakers or other speakers in the garden, you can have full control over your zone too without having to go anywhere near the amplifier. And now we're back on the main zone. I'm going to switch it from the phono input, which is shown on the display, and I want to listen to some net music, whether that be on the internet or directly within my network. So I'll press the little bubble next to the net input. It has to update itself to make sure it knows what's going on. And then all of the options that would be on the home screen on your TV are duplicated right there on the actual app for you. And you have the ability to select directly what you want to listen to. Now in some ways the app is actually faster at navigating, especially when it comes to the internet based services for when you want to search for something or actually play a specific piece of music over your network. Another cool function of the actual app is you can stream music that's stored on the phone directly to the receiver. You just need to press the musical note button down on the left hand side. This will take you to a set of options, album, artist, all and playlist. Now I'm going to go for artist here and I've got only one in there at the moment. It's Nightwish and I've got an album and a video. So I'm going to select the album just by pressing the icon and then it's going to take me to the tracks. And there I can actually select any particular track that I want, press it, it will automatically start playing in the iPhone and then it's going to stream that information across the wireless network to the AV receiver and you can do this with any and all of the music that's actually stored in your phone and all of the metadata information of the track will actually come up on the display of the TX NR626 and actually on your TV screen as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.